Here's another scenario where you've captured something at 200 millisecond divisions and then the waveform that you want to download from the waveform library is on a much faster time frame. So this is the one I uploaded previously from a other video and we'll load in all these waveforms as our references. I think that's a familiar picture isn't it? Let's go back and do camshaft and we might as well have injector current as well. And views auto arrange access so there's the scenario you've got your 200 millisecond divisions and then you've downloaded data that was captured on 20 millisecond divisions so we don't have a lot to work with there um, but we do have a full 720 cycle don't we because we've got the time between the two injection events for cylinder one so i would go again with creating another view so a scope view and move it onto the side of the graph here. So we've got columns. Because this one is bold, it's active. We'll add our reference waveforms and take away um, the originals. And then we'll use the zoom function and we'll zoom on the entire capture all the way down. So we get some perspective, try and get some alignment. In fact, we'll come back to scope view one for a second, go views. We'll hide our references because we want to keep the originals. And then we'll just do a bit of improvement. So we've got more, we'll make more use of the graph views. There we go. This is not what I wanted to do. Let's try and zoom in again on this whole area here. There we go. I want to pull down and get the symmetry again between what we've got on the left, which is the original capture, and on the right, which is our downloaded capture. Right, so uh, we've just got 720 there, haven't we? And we've just got that rising edge. So we will then zoom in on 720 degrees rotation here. In fact, we've got a little bit more there. Let's do that once more to get 720. There we are. And now it looks as though we're getting something similar, doesn't it? Because, yeah, this was, remember, 200 millisecond division capture. This one, 20 millisecond. Let's zoom in again in here. So we've got even better resolution. And once again, start working with the phase rulers. So phase rulers on. Try that once more, rulers, phase rulers are on. Ah, they're parked over here, my mistake, sorry. We'll have the first rising edge of the large pulse after the missing tooth, which is approximately there. Same again here. And let's zoom in at the start of the capture. Go for the falling edge there. In fact, we could do a bit more housekeeping, couldn't we, and get that much tighter. And then the same on that edge there. So the first rising edge of the camshaft. One, two, three, four, five and a half, 32.77 degrees. And right, let's repeat that process over here. So this view is active because scope view one is bold. We want our rulers, phase rulers on. Let's choose a similar point. First rising edge of the larger pulse after the missing tooth and then 720 degrees later, the same point. There we go. Zoom in on this area here. Put in the time ruler. The first falling edge to the first rising edge on the camshaft and these should be equal because they are from the same vehicle so this is purely as an example of how we try and do the time alignment when we've got um, different time bases so here one two three four five and a half which equates to 33.09 and 32.77 so i hope that helps in terms of um, 
uh, alignments and uh, downloading waveforms that are shorter in duration than the original capture. And as we showed in the previous video, you could always use the um, delay feature of reference waveforms, which you'll find here within your reference waveform, the delay um, when this is active, so as you can move these waveforms from left to right. I hope that helps.